Think about our kids today and what they know. They are on YouTube and Instagram. They're producing things um, for others to enjoy, for themselves to enjoy. They like being out in the limelight. Um, Providing students with opportunities to demonstrate their understanding through the creation of authentic products helps students to take ownership of the learning process. By giving them an assignment that allows them to be the center stage, it gives them some more motivation to do their best. Um, they get to collaborate, they get to do critical thinking skills. And Sixth grade math students at Orchard Lane Elementary School use the iPad app, Explain Everything, to record interactive math lessons on specific topics they were studying after creating a storyboard and script of their lesson. These math lessons were then shared with other students who could use them to review specific math concepts. The project promoted collaboration, critical thinking, and creation as students worked with their partner to design their lesson. What was unique about this assignment is that we asked kids to start off with an essential question. They needed to be able to let everybody know what they were trying to accomplish. And that was difficult for some of them because they needed to stop and think, well, what is it that I'm teaching? And then one other piece that we gave to them was um, come up with your own critical question um, in a real life situation. And because of that, I know everybody was able to bring in their own background history and they were able to collaborate with others to come up with something that was meaningful to them, yet still applied to what we were looking for. We got a storyboard sheet, which it shows our first slide and what we'd say during that slide, and like our next slide and what we'd say. And it helps because it shows us that we can write down what lesson we did and what our essential question is. We take the eight times the five to get us our starting area of 40. Next. You have to insert an extra zero so that both numbers have the same number of digits. Then you just simply add or subtract the problem. Finally, you drop down the decimal point. The essential question today is how to find terms, coefficients, and constants. Here is a subtraction example and here is an addition example. After you are done solving the problems, make sure you drop down the decimal point. Try it by yourself now. First, nine is the height, 12 is the base. So then you're gonna do nine times 12, which equals 108. For example, nine minus five isn't the same as five minus nine. And for division, six divided by three is not the same as three divided by six. I loved this project. The kids were completely engaged. I gave them a chance to do all of their critical thinking. They collaborated really positively. Um, instead of doing a poster or a slideshow, here they were made to research and look up their own questions rather than just answering something that was preset for them. So designing your own questions and being able to show them to the world and, and using your own pictures and your own thinking I think is a really positive experience. It teaches us like how to work with partners better it's and it's like a new way of learning or thinking of something so it could help with like how you understand let's say you didn't really understand it that well here it's much easier and you like while you talk you can highlight stuff so it like really shows like what you're saying instead of just typing it all you can really like explain it really well